Really, all of the uh, major Christian doctrines you can think of have their foundation in Genesis. Those doctrines couldn't be defended if Genesis were not real history. You know, we, we teach that you shall not murder. That's found in Exodus, but the basis for that is in Genesis. It's because Why is it that taking a human life would be morally wrong? Because human beings are made in God's image. And where do we learn that human beings are made in God's image? Genesis chapter one. God created marriage and he did that in, in the literal history of Genesis. And so if that history isn't true, then why should marriage be one man and one woman for life? And, and that's what we're facing in our culture as people try to redefine marriage. Those are people who have rejected the literal history in Genesis. The reason it matters is because if you believe fossils are hundreds of millions of years old, a fossil's a dead thing. And, if, and that means you got death 100 million years ago, but we all agree human beings don't go back 100 million years ago. Human beings are recent. And so if you believe in the millions of years and you reject the six days, you automatically believe in death before sin. But the Bible says that death's the penalty for sin. It came into the world when Adam sinned as a result of his sin. That's why Jesus had to die on the cross to pay for our sins because death's the penalty for sin. So you see, if you reject the six days and you accept the millions of years, you've undermined the gospel.